Hey. Hello, hello. Yay. Hey. We're here. <laughs> We're here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hello. Look where we are. Oh, amazing, beautiful paintings at the background. Selena Drake is in the house. Hello, everyone. Excited <laughs> to be here. Yay. Hear my story. <laughs> We're just we're just gonna see if we have people because it's kind of like middle of the day. Yes, yeah, middle of the day. Middle of the afternoon. Working. Oh, there's someone oh here. Gosh, Jane. Is that Jane? Oh, Jane's here. No way. Jane Crompton. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Justine is from LA. Candice Colt and who's that? Pat Johnson. I don't know. Maybe your pips. <laughs> Oh, Jacina, hello, 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 beautiful Jane Crompton. You know, Jane. Yes, yeah, we did, Jane. Yeah, we did that. Um, Jane, you're supposed to come over and paint with us. <laughs> so, <laughs> hi, hi everyone. It's hard to see. I know because it's very far. Right? So, we, we need yeah. to. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post this to other groups. And Terrific. We just want to introduce Selena Drake. She's amazing. Like really just exploded a full artist here. Yeah, I'll own it because <laughs> yes, a year ago if you'd asked So how me, was the journey? Tell oh us about a journey. The journey's been accelerated and crazy peeps. Um, I'm just gonna share, okay? Yeah, Go on. If, if you would ask me a year ago, first of all, first Selena of all. Drake, <laughs> I'm a newly awakened soul. <laughs> I started this business called Soul Expressions, which is my art business, and sort of my soul journey, actually, more, more so than the art. Mm -hmm. uh, it's through the art that I'm, I'm doing my soul journey. And uh, six months ago, I embarked on this journey, and here I am um, with art, as you can see behind me, and it's really progressing, developing. Um, now got business cards recently made up it's funny because i had just ordered them on the weekend and they arrived on my doorstep yesterday with some mm. promo items which is really really exciting for me um but i'm at a couple of venues right now um Sir, uh, infinite serenity holistic spa has a collection of my paintings as well as the fort wine company has a small collection and I'm, i've also been approached to um, put my paintings at a new store a uh, healing lounge um out in Chilliwack. And so now they're going undergoing renovations right now and I'll have my collection in there in a little while. Um, and also I attend Unite events. Really excited about those events because I meet so many great amazing people. And, um, and of course the next event's going to be two days at the Ohm Healing Community event. So where my journey started actually was <laughs> at the Ohm Healing Community event. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness, thank you. Well, I'm, I'm trying to share them and then it won't share, but now okay. it's sharing. So All cool. Right. Awesome. But you are a corporate sales um, manager. This is your like, this you're is not, side gig. Yeah, you're no, not yeah, into spiritual. And tell us about the journey okay, where it started, started. the yeah. awakening. So I met this beautiful <laughs> lady almost a year ago, actually, January 31st, the full moon. Yes, at full moon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as I mentioned, I'm a newly awakened soul that's kind of got spurred on with the passing of my mother about two years ago. So she passed away of cancer. I um, shortly thereafter uh, disembarked on this uh, soul journey where I realized that I had some intuitive skills and sort of pursued that. And um, uh, my day job is a corporate sales manager. I work for HP. I've been sort of in the business equipment, uh, corporate sales industry for well, almost 30 years actually wow and so I, you know, I train salespeople I do a lot of personal growth and development but it's not been spiritual until mm -hmm. uh, until recently <laughs> so uh, I guess uh, after I met Tessa I, I, I followed you on Myth. crystal healing <laughs> Akashic records she did all the works <laughs> yeah it was so one thing sort of led to the other and what was uh, actually uh, life-changing was when I took a uh, Reiki uh, Reiki course through a friend mm -hmm. uh, that Tessa recommended and I did not know anything about Reiki energy whatsoever um, I signed up because I wanted to learn about it and discover it and so I thought maybe it'd be a good idea for me to do a session <laughs> before I started a class mm -hmm. so I called my friend Stephanie Brown from Infinite Serenity who I recently met and asked her if she could do a Reiki session on me and I did it the day before I started my Reiki course I had the most profound um, experience of my wow. life 
And mm-hmm. I think she opened something up in my sacral chakra. I'm, I don't even know what, what it all meant, to be honest. <laughs> I just I just remembered feeling absolutely amazing when I came out of the session. And the uh, following weekend, um, I have a friend on Facebook who was doing a tutorial on pore painting. And I thought it was pretty hmm. fun and it kind of attracted me. And I went out and bought a bunch of paints and I started doing pore painting. What wow. I didn't realize as I was doing, I was having so much fun with it. It was just mm-hmm. a joy. Amazing. And, um, I love colors and the way it appeared on the canvas and all these um, designs and pictures started to show up for me. Oh, and wow. so I ended up, uh, I, I actually became obsessed with it. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> you start buying all yeah, things. And, and then I ended up. Um, was your family even uh, like? Well, yeah, like shy. I said, I've, I've, they were shocked mm-hmm. uh, because um, as far as my artistic skills go, um, I did stick people. I, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't really even an artist. I didn't drawing was mm-hmm. not my thing when I was little. I loved music instead. So that was sort of the area that I pursued. But anyway, so I, I started doing pore painting. Wow. And I loved it. And I did about uh, 40 paintings like you see behind me it's like in, a in six weeks in i was up six like weeks two three wow. o'clock in the morning That's painting amazing and spirit started to come like, to me wow like and I was, yeah and i was like in a different realm mm-hmm. when i was doing this and my mother started to come through wow and she was helping me pick up the colors and i didn't really want to tell my husband or my kids about because i <laughs> thought they would spirit. that i would be like losing my marbles but i, I enjoyed it so much it was my connection with my mother um, who, by the way, was an artist. An like, artist. She painted. But wow. She, You're continuing the Yeah, she saga. was a traditional brush painter. And so I, I didn't, I know I even had it in me. Anyways, I enjoyed the painting. And then Tessa said, why don't you show your paintings at the Ohm Healing Festival? Mm-hmm. Um, and that was Mr. Key, and that was in July. July, last and year. so yeah. I thought, no, that's kind of crazy because I just started painting and who would want to buy my paintings Um, but I also started doing Reiki at the same time and I I added uh, Reiki energy to my paintings but I really didn't know if anybody could feel that because I wanted whoever received my paintings I wanted them to receive healing as well as having something nice to look at Mm -hmm. so when I showed up at the home healing festival everybody (laughs) of course you got you got a room full of intuitive readers and (laughs) Reiki people and yoga people, and they, I, my paintings were really yeah, well received. Sold out. <laughs> so I, can, I continued on with that. And so you, and I'm very excited actually to be at this own healing community event coming up because I want people to see sort of how far I've developed in six months. Wow, it's been crazy. So beautiful. Um, we're going to show you yeah, guys. I went from just pouring some paints on a canvas to actually adding um, images to it, to doing fluid painting, using different styles, and now I'm brush painting. Wow. Yeah. That really Which was blow my mind away. scary it's, for me as a non-artist. It's amazing. Yeah, but I thought it was really important for me to step out of my box and just really go for it and uh, and really trust spirit to, to guide me because I knew that that's what was happening. Um, my very first brush painting was, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, mm-hmm. it, it was an owl that I did was before Christmas. Oh, let's, let's yeah. show them. And That's I was beautiful. really honestly scared. <laughs> and, uh, and I think other artists can appreciate it when I say I was scared um, because I took a, a poor painting that I did and um, saw a picture of an owl, a snow owl that I wanted to paint. And I sat down. I didn't even have so a clue what I was like doing. A heart. Yeah. And I asked my mother to uh, come and guide wow. me. And about an hour later, I had an owl on a a canvas. (laughs) And I thought, you know, I'm going to own it. So I posted it on Facebook. And uh, two people wanted to buy it. Oh, my goodness. But I'm not selling it because it's It's one of my first. It's a very special channel painting. It's a gift from my mom. We have some notes. Oh, Lavina, look beautiful in the background. (laughs) Lavina is actually the one of the artists in U.S. Minster. That I was oh, telling you. And, and Kimberly. Oh, Kimberly Warch is here. Yeah, Hi, Kimberly. Kim. We're going to see Kim back Yeah, and, <laughs> in yeah. Uh, March, yeah, our, our next event. Kimberly has one of my Lemurian paintings. Lemurian. One of my first ones. Thank you. Yes. Kim. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. And, and you started also doing uh, Angel's Attunements. Yes. 
it was very recent and I'm putting angel attunements. Yeah. Started channeling actually archangels. So oh, I want to see that one. This is so beautiful, guys. I feel so high vibrations here. Look at this. That's Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael. Yeah. So I've been uh, doing a lot of angel it's paintings. So gorgeous. I love yeah. this. Oh boy. Yeah, angel. You can feel the the healing energy. You can, yeah. So people who are yeah. who's buying your um, arts, they're actually having healing. Yes. Yeah. It's so yes. beautiful. As what I'm told, um, I had an um, an intuitive reader tell me that um, even the lights. Look at that, Selena. Yes. Ah! Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That's I love so that, the amazing. Look at the Looks reflection. Like a <laughs> wow, it's an aura. Yeah. So my so feelings are so my, feel. my art's meant to be felt as much yes. as it's to be seen. Yes. I was so told beautiful. that um, I shouldn't sell my art online, that it should be something that I, I do at festivals, at, um, you know, post them up in restaurants, retail stores. And that's why I've sort of taken my time because this is not my full time job yet. I know. Yet. Right? But, well. um, but yeah, I've had, there. yeah, I've had so a lot of requests, and, and so yes, eventually I'll get to a point where this can be my so full time gorgeous. thing. I would love to show people how to do it, uh, do workshops, lessons, that sort of thing. And I've actually had a couple of uh, commission requests. You I should bring your right sale. Now. You should bring your paintings into the sales. Yeah, so those people yeah, well. in, the, in their mind right, can have some spiritual side conflict of interest. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Yes. Right? Like, uh, how can you, you know, this is so yeah. gorgeous. I love this. So beautiful. But I'm just in my bliss. Yes. This is just this is been, a um, very exciting. Space. It's, it's um, <laughs> and at anything, I was telling Tessa, I, I got a new job and I've been waiting for business cards for my new job. <laughs> I don't know how long and I go and order um, business cards for soul expressions on the weekend and they show up yesterday so it was like go. not even a week oh, I, I, got I didn't even look at the back it's so cute intuitive yeah. healing art for the heart and soul yeah so I've got business cards and I've got um, I actually have mugs. mugs made up and I'm gonna have these mugs available at the own at healing, the own healing. yeah March 30 yeah, yes. 31st um, in Bonsor at the heart of Metrotown, yes. Burnaby, guys, come and uh, see us. And Jessina DeMarco, she's from LA. She's a, actually a speaker and healer. Love the artwork on the wall, so warm and inviting. Thank you. Thank you very so much. So beautiful. Yeah. And um, Sita Kison is saying, beautiful artwork. Carolyn is watching. Oh, <laughs> Mandala Girl. Oh, Carolyn. I've got your bags here. <laughs> <laughs> what um, bags are we talking about? I've got about? That, that bag there with her Mandela on it. Oh my yeah, goodness, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's gonna come, bag. she's gonna come at home and have a Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah. No, that um I I'm just in my bliss. It's all because of the spiritual journey um yeah. that's awakened me. And it's funny because I've met a lot of um artists and friends that are sort of along the same line and they're really incorporating the spiritual into what they're doing because really it is what's guided by that if it's coming from your heart mm -hmm. it's certainly guided and so i'm open to the flow i'm opening i'm open to this being my thing um post corporate world and <laughs> hopefully we'll you open down with are your years. corporate your <laughs> corporate um people are they asking you about what you're doing? Um, I haven't really been that open with Not them. Yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although uh, my previous job, um, I, I recently moved to a different company. Yes. But my previous job, I worked with a lady who was also an artist. And it was funny because I had two of her paintings in my stairwell. Oh, yes, and, yes. Um, and she bought and yours. She, <laughs> and she saw my, um, because we're connected on Facebook, she saw my artwork. And she mm -hmm. came out on Friday and picked up two pieces. Oh, my goodness. And so I was very so honored. Awesome. I'm very honored when mm -hmm. other artists um, feel a connection to my painting. And I had been uh, channeling feathers the last couple of weeks. Yes, I love the feathers. And you'll see one behind this. me with the abalone shell. It's so beautiful. And you know, it's so added. shamanic. Like, uh, yeah. you know, young people actually love yes. this like the whole is it boho, boho? yeah, yeah boho? It, boho? <laughs> I, don't I don't know it's just a bohemian yeah, yeah. bohemian yeah. art yeah like and bohemian art. so i am actually very um humbled when uh because i'm, I'm just learning to own m m myself being an artist oh my i'm very goodness. humbled when artists uh, actually feel a connection to my painting 
uh, they all have a story. Yes. Uh, I have a, a bonsai that you see behind me as well. That's as above, so below that I channeled one day. I love this. Um, and then this one is uh, with the abalone shell. The abalone so it's, shell. It's you really see, it's so kind of like metallic. Yeah. I metallic. love yeah. this. Yeah. 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 And I pull all these feathers with string. Uh, so with technique. string? Yeah, I oh, take wow. this a technique that I learned on YouTube. Actually, guys, if you want to learn anything. <laughs> Everything is in YouTube, YouTube, right? Yeah, I spend oh, many God, hours binge so watching Bob beautiful. Ross. <laughs> and then, and is that I, uh, an artist name? Yeah, Bob Ross. And she yeah. teaches. He, so he, yeah, he, he, the late Bob I Ross. I can't wait. The joy of painting. When are you going to teach us this? Uh, like, I, I, I have a feeling, you know, you're going to be the the art teacher in the community, and well, it's doing um, this gorgeous. I feel it's fairly, it's fairly simple, really. Um, <laughs> simple for you. <laughs> But uh, no, honestly, anybody can do it. And, and Bob Ross has proven that with the joy of painting. He has a huge following. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's just, it's all developing and I'm super excited. Um, well, you know, I hope one day that uh, to go travel the world and, and yes. do retreat, painting retreats and learn more and more. Well, you, and so I'm just amazing. Yeah, you can just leave that down. You can leave it down. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, that's okay. Maybe you can pass it later. And look at this Buddha. Well, we'll go around and you can tell us okay. some story. I could tell you some stories. Sure. <laughs> Are you going to move this around? Yeah, I, okay. I'll go with you. All right. Well, thank you so much, Pips. And uh, we'll, we'll have Selena tell you some background stories. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's Jane start. Crompton loves uh, Bob Ross. Oh, she knows. Oh, yeah. She knows Bob Ross. <laughs> A lot of people love And Bob Carolyn Ross. says, awesome. Okay. <laughs> All uh, right. Okay, so. A basic, basic um, pores I did. This one was what we call. This is the first uh, a, well, it's project. One of my few first mm -hmm. few ones, right? Uh, this one is I call it the elementals. So it's fire. Oh wow! And water. I like yeah. that. That's fire and water. Fire and water. That's you and me. Fire and water. That's what it is. <laughs> like uh, Scorpio and Sagittarius. Yes. Oh my yeah. God! This is gorgeous. Yeah. And so my Love son that. really, my oldest son really liked this one. So he, I've saved this for him. So no one is allowed <laughs> to have that one. Um, so I went from basic pores to starting, uh, I learned how to pull string through the canvas. To wow. The flower. So flower panels seem to be my signature thing. Yeah. So for example, what the, uh, what, something like this. Is it gladiola, this kind of flower? Some of them are gladiola. Some of them turn out to be uh, lilies. Um, mm -hmm. There is a Facebook tutorial that shows you how to pull uh, different string pulls, create different flowers. Oh, wow. But basically what so it is, pretty. is I pour, that color. I pour the paint on yes. here, move it around to where I want it as a background. Yeah. And then I dip string in, in, in this case, white paint. Mm -hmm. I lay it onto the wet canvas and pull it through you pull to it get the sure, flower. To get the flower. Yeah. And then afterwards, uh, I started doing, after I started doing more, those people seem to like that. I, uh, I oh, started to add look at this, the to dragon it. So dragonflies, as many people know, are, are transformational. Yes, that's a transformation. transformation. A lot of people love um, dragonflies. Dragonfly spirit. Uh, yes. So I pulled this flower. As that's you can see, beautiful. there's a lot of cells in it. Mm -hmm. um, that's sort of an effect I love that. that's added when you put silicone into the mix. Wow. So silicone drops. Or, silicone yeah, drops or a silicone spray like WD-40 with silicone will into the paint wow. will create <laughs> yes. these cells and then I added Sweet. the dragonflies to it. Yay! I yeah. haven't seen that one. Yeah. That's, that's a new one. Um, well, I made so many of them. I honestly <laughs> lost track. I've probably made well over a hundred paintings oh my goodness. in the last six months. Maybe you should uh, number them. <laughs> I try. I, I tried categorizing it at the beginning, and I kind of and lost track. Yeah. Lost track. Yeah, and, but it's whatever. as above, so below. Yeah, is one and, and as above, so below is this yeah, one. Yeah, I love that. Um, it bonsais. feels like actually like a Japanese. Yeah, almost thing. yeah, it's gorgeous. And it really depends on the week, and depends on what meditation I go through that mm -hmm. brings on different inspiration. Yes. It could be something I've seen. It also could be something that. Uh, is the theme that's in mm -hmm. my heart that uh, that happened to be for that week. Uh, what I try and do is set my sacred space when I'm doing it. So um, you do your meditation candles. first I'll do my meditation. before you uh, um, start sometimes painting. Sometimes I pull invocation cards, yeah, and it's something maybe I need to clear, and so then it comes out so in the painting. So beautiful. Um, I'll give you a sneak preview of something that I just recently. Oh made. wow! 
I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> yeah. This is actually for a friend. I don't think she's online, but this no, is she's for a not. friend. I made it the other night. It's so gorgeous. Um, oh, I yeah. love the colors. It's a 16 by 20. Uh, it's a yogi. And it's a, doing a tree pose. And that's her. Yeah, and that's her. And so sometimes Lucky. I do channel. I'll feel people when I've... Uh, when I'm making the painting, uh -huh. um, and it'll be for that specific person. And you are so generous. You've given right. so many paintings to all of yes. us. It's literally is the community receive a yeah. gift from Selena. Well, I'll, so and a beautiful. spirit will guide me as to who My to God, give it to so because beautiful. I'll be thinking of that person when I'm actually yeah. doing the painting. You're well, a healer. You're uh, doing and, it. <laughs> and one of the stories, actually, yeah. couple of stories is yes. I made this Moldavite painting. I didn't know what it was. It was just a poor painting. Moldavite. Oh, yeah. the emissary. And it yeah. had uh, green and black green in and it. Black, it was very yes. similar to. To this, you don't I have any more of that but, one. Yeah, I, no, yeah I, that's a gorgeous one. So I did it a few months ago. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who it was for because I'm yes. told that a lot of my paintings have been made advanced for people. Yes. Oh, wow. And uh, shortly we did a labyrinth walk. And yes. you and Cyprian, Cyprian. Uh, were channeling the Moldavite, the Moldavite Emissaries. And yeah. so actually um, Spirit had wanna get me to give that, to that painting to him because wow. that was meant for him. Yeah, and it yeah. looks like a Moldavite. Yeah. So and I beautiful. have some uh, I have some sort of modern type Yeah, I like that spiritual. one. This is like, like a, for <laughs> teenagers, yeah. you know. A friend of mine, she's a recording artist and this is her, Taylor. This is <laughs> so I made this one night and wow. I'll give that to her. Yeah. So yes, beautiful. Hummingbirds keep coming up. Where are the hummingbirds? Um, I've got one here. Oh, I've it's got so wild. Another one at Infinite Serenity. Peacocks. Also peacocks, peacocks is also yeah, amazing. One peacocks. This one was a uh, one I, wow. I did a string and then I, so and then I pulled it through. Look at that color. Yeah. So it's kind it's of metallic. Peacock, yeah. And I pulled it through to it's get beautiful. the Beautiful. And then last but not And there's least, a turtle. I like that turtle. Yeah, yeah. This turtle feels going, like Hawaii. Going home. Going He's home. going home. And I have a story about another turtle I did. Yes. Um, which I left at Infinite Serenity. And wouldn't you know, like the one day I went in yeah. to check on my paintings, mm -hmm. a lady was buying my turtle painting at the cash <gasps> register. At the same time? Oh, wow. And as I walked in, Stephanie mm -hmm. goes, oh, and here's the artist. Maybe she can sign it for you. And I was like, what? And so, anyways, <laughs> so I wanted to, uh, my, my thing is connecting. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not just the painting. I'm connecting with people mm -hmm. who receive my painting and I really want to know what their story is yes because that's the connection it's and a so, it's a heart to heart yeah absolutely so I like asked this all lady, these beautiful uh, stories the relationship that you create yeah. yeah and so I said well what drew you to the, the yeah painting? the painting and so she had a very profound Reiki session <gasps> with, with Stephanie. Stephanie the one who did the, your Reiki wow and it guided her to buy this turtle painting and uh, oh, which was inspired by a trip to Maui, and she had come back from Hawaii, so there was a connection <laughs> so, there. Yes, it that was reminds her of Hawaii. Yeah, it was just but this one's called Going Home because going it's the home. turtle going, going home, home to the to ocean. The water, so the ocean. beautiful. Yeah, I yeah. think there's people talking here. Oh, <laughs> just saying hi. <laughs> and then last but not least, oh, I really developed. You, you my have painting. to show this one. Yes, this is so. This is my. The, um, so, you know, I've been doing a lot of poor paintings and mm -hmm. I really wanted to show that I can really progress and, and step out of my box and do traditional painting, mm -hmm. uh, brush painting. So uh, I, as you, as I mentioned earlier, I love Bob Ross. I binge watch his videos Bob all Ross. the time. And I found kind of one that I really liked the style. So I kind of followed that style. So I sat at a blank canvas one day and it took me five hours to do it, but this is what I produced. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is amazing. Like, look at that. You can see that. So there I was go. learning can light. I it? I yeah, I think you can. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll okay. probably hold it back. Is that more? Oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Tessa's got to put her glasses on. I here know, right? All right. <laughs> I think we got it. I got it. You got it. I got, okay. Hold. Okay. So you gotta awesome. hold it back. You gotta, put you gotta it hold it back. And down. And down. Or no. Oh, maybe uh, come over here, honey. I think um, there we go. I'm 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 silly that way. <laughs> there we go. And everybody see that? So I was really learning light and perspective with this one. Mm -hmm. um, and so I sat there with my paintbrushes and I did this. So I'm actually very inspired by um, 
wow. light and reflections. And my next one that I want to pursue is going to be water. So I, I'm going to be doing ocean. It's you're going so to see beautiful. oceans and waterfalls it's for like me. A gray, yeah. like a misty night or something. It's so amazing. What's the title of this? I haven't named it. I haven't yet. named it. Help me name it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I honestly, but I want I've them to show weekend. it like this. Yeah, yeah. Can you see that? It's so beautiful. So you you gotta see the soul's uh, expressions. Yes. Is is um another event coming up for you? Um, other than putting it in in a venue at a uh, retail store in Chilliwack. Yes. Well, uh, oh yeah, you're going to have Oval Lounge, and store. I'll, I'll list that. When Are they gonna, open already? No, they were opening in January. Oh my goodness, yeah. you're ahead. Yeah. And then uh, the next uh, event will be the Om, yes. Om Healing Community Om event, Healing guys. Community. Be there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yay. Yes. Thank you so okay, much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And hope to see everybody at <laughs> Om Healing Community. And her paintings are at Infinity Serenity. Yeah. That's Langley. Infinite Serenity. Infinite Serenity. In Langley. Langley. Okay. okay. Yay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>